Hello friends of Golf Course Quality Fertilizer. Well today we're going to talk about landscape weed preventers. And a lot of people don't even know they exist out there, right? They're all worried about these weeds and it's like a constant job. People give up, they go to rock and then weed barrier. And then when that fails, it's like, oh boy. And then they pay thousands of dollars to somebody to come in and redo it again. So <laughs> people don't like to pull weeds out of their landscape beds for sure. I mean, it is a pain in the tail, especially when you have to do it like every two weeks or three weeks in order to keep your house looking good. So that's where these weed preventers in the landscape, and you can use them in rock, and you can use them in mulch, and you can use them on dirt, and we'll talk about if that's gonna work or not. Um, but these preventers help seeds from germinating. So most of the weeds that we're dealing with in our landscape are annual weeds. And so we're constantly pulling those out. Uh, during the summertime, it's a certain type, and in the spring, uh, like now, it's another type. And these are winter annuals. And I showed this in my last video as well, but. You know, this is henbit, right? It's a winter annual. Now, if I would have applied and had mulch here uh, last fall, I wouldn't have had to deal with these guys at all, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and so what we got to do first is pick the right type of, uh, of preventer. And so there's multiple kinds out there. Uh, one of them that everybody's familiar with is preen. So let's talk about how to do preen. Okay, so preen it only lasts for three months. And so if you do it April 1st, for example, you cleaned your bed, you put it down April 1st, uh, and you have a nice layer of mulch to help hold that preen, and that's why you have to have some mulch in there as well. Uh, it helps hold onto that preen, keep it at the surface. If you have just plain soil, uh, it's not gonna be able to prevent it for very long. Eventually, uh, it's gonna leach through, and then boom, you'll have fresh seeds be able to germinate again. Seeds can last up to 40 years in the soil. So everything just has an abundance of all kinds of seeds. And it's just a matter about the right timing, right temperatures, and right situation. And boom, there they go. There's a bunch of weeds popping. So uh, we can't get mad at the weeds. We just have to know how to handle them, right? And so if we put it down in April with a nice clean bed and we go all the way to 4th of July or so, make sure you're marking it on your calendar, put another application down then, even a little before it's okay and especially if it's rained a lot, and then go ahead and do it again in September, and then in December, and then you can get your whole year covered, right? And so you gotta remember to put it down those times. A lot of people struggle with preen because if they put it down, all of a sudden they still, a week later, they're seeing all these weeds kind of still creeping through. They're like, the preen didn't work. Well, that's not true because the preen can stop seeds, but if those seeds had already germinated, then they're gonna come up through that mulch and that's where you're seeing that. And if you go through and you pull those weeds out, then you have to reapply that preen because you just broke that layer, right? It's kinda like putting a plastic layer over and somebody tears a hole in it, now weeds are gonna come through. So think of it in that kind of way, right? Now there's other products out there like Snapshot, and Freehand, and Dimension by itself, and just a myriad actually of weed preventers. They've been around for 30 plus years. Uh, a lot of the other ones actually last a lot longer. They last for four, five, and six months. And I like the six months guys, because the six month guys, I just do it April 1st, September 1st, and I don't have to remember so much through the season, right? Now there are some scenarios, even with the really good ones, uh, that can prevent situ like you from being successful at preventing weeds, and that's lots of summer rain, or something like that, if you're getting deluges of rain, then you might have to apply that thing a little earlier than September 1st, go ahead and throw it down in August, uh, and things like that. So you gotta think about those situations when you're applying a preventer. Uh, as well, the, some of those have early post-emergent control. And so if you throw it down on your mulch, those little guys that germinated that frustrated you with preen, right? And like I said, if you get into a cycle, you won't have those little germinated guys. But if you, uh, those guys like that, this will actually take care of those as well. Those little germinated, very young plants, it'll still desiccate those, right? Now what's cool is all of those products that you're looking for, right? Like Preen or Freehand or Snapshot or whatever it is you're getting, they don't hurt any of your existing plants. So if you're doing it over top of bulbs or irises or trees or ground cover, go right over top of everything, right? Uh, because that'll really help prevent and keep things from growing inside as well. If you already have existing things like grasses and stuff growing in there, those are totally different. You're, those will have to be killed with a, 
with a roundup or, or something that can kill it without hurting the other plants. And that could be a sticky situation. And that, that is another struggle. But as far as pulling all these regular crazy weeds, a good preventer at the right timing uh, and knowing what you're doing uh, helps you a lot. Thanks for listening and we'll talk to you later.